What's up guys? You like these videos when I do these. It's a sound cool video. And, have we got the box the right way? Oh yeah, it's the Liberty 2 Pro Plus. Not to be confused with the Liberty 2 Pro, this is the Pro Plus, the upgraded version with LDAC. I'll get into it more in a second. Welcome back guys, so yeah, these are the latest update to the Liberty 2 Pro line. These are the Pro Plus, they are upgraded, they have a transparency mode, and they have LDAC support. I'll get more onto that in a moment, but let me tell you a little bit about these. They're the same pretty much in essence as the Liberty 2 Pro. They look exactly the same, they fit exactly the same, the same case. Everything is the same, colors, the lot, it's the same, same packaging, same contents inside the box. So. Yeah, when I say they're upgraded, they're upgraded on the inside, not on the outside, which isn't an issue because the Liberty 2 Pro are a good looking set of earbuds, the case is really good, and they just, why, why, why fix something that isn't broke? So, bear that in mind, they do look exactly the same. They do have the 11 millimeter dual drivers in there as well again, so you are still getting that thumping bass. You got the wireless charging compatible case, up to seven hours of playtime on the earbuds. Really, I mean, seven hours is really good. 26 hours with the charging case, so you know, you're gonna get plenty of battery life. Even on a long flight, these are gonna last you. It's really not a problem when it comes to that. The Liberty 2 Pro were good for that, and these are, thankfully, just the same. They have the same Knowles balanced armature in there, so you get some really good treble out of these, and you might get a little bit better treble out of these because of LDAC, but I'll get more onto the sound quality in a moment because obviously there's been an upgrade in there because they're LDAC. Yeah, and these come with, if you remember on the Liberty 2 Pro, if you had those on the Pro Plus, you get Hear ID 2.0, which does the same kind of thing, but it also allows you to do a little bit more, which I'll also get onto in a moment. So in essence, yes, these are very much similar to the Liberty 2 Pro, but they have been upgraded. Let's talk about it. So when it comes to sound on these things, the Liberty 2 Pro used to be Aptex. They're no longer Aptex, they're LDAC. LDAC is like a higher bit rate, and the best way of describing this is, it's like going from 2K to 4K, but maybe not that drastic, if you know what I mean, when you're looking at a TV screen or something like that, it's high res audio. LDAC is high res certified. They say it's up to three times more clearer, better audio. And don't get me wrong, there is a sound difference between these and the Liberty 2 Pro. Now, is it night and day? Is it like chalk and cheese? No, it's not. Now, when you're listening through these and you have LDAC selected, and you do have to select the LDAC, and I'll tell you about that in a moment, but when LDAC is selected, you do hear that, that there's a lot more detail. Oh, I'm going to say a lot more. There's more detail in the sound. The highs are a bit more crisp. The lows are a bit more full which is crazy because the Liberty 2 Pro had some really full lows. The mids come through, plenty of detail voices. There's a lot of detail in there. I mean, there was a lot of detail on the Liberty 2 Pro, but these step it up a little bit again. Like I say, is it like a massive difference? No, no, but it's a difference. So you gotta bear that in mind. The thing with LDAC support is there's pros and cons to LDAC. LDAC has the higher res audio, like I was just saying, but it also can have an issue when it comes to connectivity. Now, if you're sat here with your phone on your lap or something like that, or phone on the desk five feet away, it's not an issue. You're not gonna have any connectivity issues. My Liberty 2 Pros though, I can go to the other side of my house and have no connection issues whatsoever. These, I get about seven or eight feet closer to the earbuds and then it can start having some issues when it comes to the connection on these but that's LDAC for you there's pros there's cons you go always for everything that's better there's always something you know it just balances out in the universe you get something better but something's got to make way for that to be better I don't know like a Thanos click so when you connect these up together one thing that is different with these and Every pair of Sanko earbuds I've used so far, I'm pretty sure all of them do this. When you're pairing them, it'll pair the main one and it'll just come up like Liberty 2 Pro, Liberty Air 2, and then it'll come up with a second prompt to 
do the left one so you can use them individually it doesn't work like that on this you just wham bam thank you ma'am it's one pairing one thing that you don't have two separate bluetooth connections in your in your actual menu you just have the one which to make a difference you can still use them one or the other you just don't have that second pairing here's probably an updated chipset in here over from the liberty 2 pro because the liberty 2 pro did come out uh, i want to say two, early 2019 ish maybe it's been a little while put it that way and they have stood the test of time hence why these are still really good but a bit more on that in the end here id 2.0 same thing as it was before plays sequence of sounds and it matches the sound quality coming from these to what you actually hear it gives you what it thinks is the best for your listening and it does work i can say i did use it on the others but i do prefer using the the signature sound call um equalizer setting but this does work but the thing that this does this time is you can actually select the genre of music you like and add it to your hair id so it'll make it so that kind of music is perfect for your ears you can also let's say you're let's say you've had your hair id and you're listening to him and you're thinking man the treble on this is muffled well you can now go into your hair id where you couldn't before and you can boost your treble so it comes through louder same with the lows or the mids you can change it to how you like it instead of how it thinks you should like it which i really do like i think it's a, a very 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 good option to have in there with hair id the other things this does have is transparency mode hallelujah people have been asking about it for such a long time and now it's here it's here in the pro plus version it's not coming to liberty 2 pro the regular version it is only in the pro plus upgraded version that's why these are here you've got the LDAC support and you have the transparency so you can hear everything around you once it's on it activates the microphones and it lets sound in from around the outside and it doesn't degrade the sound if you know what i mean and sometimes you put that on and it can really just suck the life out of the earbuds it doesn't do that with this and you can still hear everything around you you know if i'm out and about at work and i've got these in in the office and someone shouting at me i can hear them while i'm wearing these if i'm in the parking lot a truck's coming in to be unloaded or anything like that i, I can hear it getting there before it gets there great safety feature i always say earbuds should have transparency mode or ambient mode whatever you want to call it but it is here in this now one thing is you can't actually adjust it so you can't change the strength would be nice if you could maybe on the liberty pro 3 if they do bring one of those out but yeah you do have the transparency mode so overall these are very similar to the liberty 2 pro and what i would say is unless you needed ldac and transparency mode you're probably not really going to want to upgrade because the sound quality though it is better on this it's not like whew, you're going to put it in and go wow they sound so much better than the other ones they're very similar very very similar but obviously these do have a little bit of a better sound transparency mode that's a big thing so if you want transparency mode yeah you know upgrade them to this if you've never owned any of the earbuds the liberty 2 pros or you're looking at buying the set of the liberty 2 pro don't buy the liberty 2 pro you just go out and buy the pro plus because you're going to get the same good great sound quality with thunderous bass but you're also going to get the upgraded ldac and you're going to get transparency mode so that's my thoughts on this. Are they any good? Hell yeah, they're great. The Liberty 2 Pro are still great. They're, they're very, very good. But these are even better. They're about $129, dollars I'll put the link down there from Amazon. They're a bit cheaper than what the Liberty 2 Pro were when they first come out. So, yeah, they're a good buy at that much money. With transparency mode and LDAC support, they are uh, way less than a lot of the other people that try and do something like this and they sound exceptional and obviously you get the soundcore app which is awesome it's the best app out there on any set of earbuds in my opinion so yeah if you want to get the pro plus links down there like i say i wouldn't wouldn't go for it if you're just going for sound quality and you've already got the liberty 2 pro but if you're looking for transparency mode or ldac support or you're looking at just buying a set of wireless earbuds and you want something with really good sound really good bass battery comfort things like that go buy the liberty 2 pro plus you won't be disappointed i love them 
Everybody else loves them whenever they've listened to them. You're going to love them. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Laters.